What's up fam, good morning. Mango and I are about to head out on a couple errands. We need to go get him some more bugs, but the reason I'm bringing him is because I noticed something on him that is a little concerning to me, and the place that we got him from, if you don't know the story of Mango, he was a rescue. We rescued him from a reptile store, someone who like gave him up. We didn't know much about him when we got him. We just knew he was a full grown adult, and they weren't able to tell us really like how old he was. They like guessed, but there's not any like real way to tell. When we adopted him, he was severely dehydrated and underweight. And he's now been with us for three or four four years. I need to double check that. He's a very beloved part of our family, but yesterday I noticed he has a lump on his head that doesn't look normal. Let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but this side is normal and this side is looks swollen. And when I touch it, it doesn't seem to really bother him, but it just doesn't look quite right. I don't know if you can really see it from this angle, but it's honestly really hard to pick up. It's a small lump, but not like when you look at the rest of his head. It just, you can tell it looks abnormal and he definitely did not have that there before. So naturally I did some Googling and I did not like what I saw. The difficult thing about reptiles is a lot of like vets don't typically see reptiles. Luckily the place that I got him from they do free health checks can bring them in at any time They're very knowledgeable. So let's go get you checked out little buddy picked up Pilly from school And I just got him looked at they are so great at this place But they recommended that we take him to a reptile vet to get it checked out She thinks it's an abscess. Hopefully that's all it is, but they are not vets here They see a lot and they know a lot, but they definitely cannot give like true medical or veterinary advice But she said that if it was a tumor it would be harder So I feel a little bit better and there's one that they really recommend so I'm gonna call them make an appointment. I got a few things for his cage got him some bugs and we're on our way I'm currently on hold with the reptile that that they recommended she Asked for his symptoms and like what it looked like if it's bothering him all the things and she put me on hold to see if the vet thinks that he should come in sooner like if it's considered more of an emergency Okay that would be a drop off between 8 and 9 a.m. Okay, and, and we just drop him off? Uh huh, and he would huh. stay with us for the day. Because at that point, the doctor wants to soak him, do different things. Okay, not just to, to make sure. Put him once. She'll right, just look at him right. throughout the day. Let's do Monday. Jessica, what's your phone number? All right, Mango, this is your stop. Today is the day. Mango is going to the vet today. He has. A little lump on his head that we're gonna go get checked out. Drop off went well. Now we are just playing the waiting game. He's gonna hang out there all day. They're gonna do a bunch of different testing and stuff on him. I came home, threw myself together. I'm in the middle of folding laundry and putting it away, but then I remembered that I had a new thread of order coming. Thread up is the largest online thrift store. They're sponsoring this video. I have loved this brand for many, 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 many years. And spring is in the air. So let me show you what I got this time. The difference this time is I actually shopped for not only myself, but for my kids. They just have literally anything under the sun that you could be looking for. So many different brands, even high-end ones. I'm gonna show you some of the pieces that I got. I have been shopping on this site for years. It's really, really easy to navigate. They have an app if you wanna do it that way. The thread up is just unmatchable. Good for both the planet and your wallet. These green polka dots make me happy every time. Hey, nice picks. Let me show you. Ooh, it's like Christmas day. They gave me a code too, 35% off plus free shipping on your first order if you use my code JustFam. Okay, I don't know what to do first. Let's do this. Okay, I'm digging the cut on this shirt. This is a Zara shirt, American Eagle jeans. I keep trying to like stray off and find other brands for jeans, but I just always come back to American Eagle, which sucks because they're so expensive. The estimated retail price of these are $60, which is why I pretty much always stick to getting them on ThreadUp because these are $28.99. That is such a freaking steal. This shirt, on the other hand, I was actually able to find two of these on ThreadUp. I feel like this could be like a date night look. The estimated retail price of this was $36. I got it for $19.99 on ThreadUp. Like I said though, these jeans, I just just love my American Eagle jeans. What is your go-to brand for jeans? Like help a girl out. I do love my American Eagle jeans, but but because these are thrifted stuff and the prices are so good, plus ThreadUp's return policy is really good, the only time that I will branch out and try other brands for jeans is pretty much when I place an order through ThreadUp. So I did get a couple other pairs. Let me know what you guys think, hold on. 
Okay, you know, I actually don't hate it. These are, I actually swapped. These jeans are Zara and the top is American Eagle. So still kind of sticking in my comfort zone here, but I am actually digging them. I think I really need to widen my horizon here. And this is why I appreciate thrift shopping. They just make it so easy and accessible to get good quality stuff. And you can literally shop from your bed. Like you don't have to go, you don't have to physically go to the thrift stores to get these amazing deals. So retail price of this top was $30. I got it for $14.99. And these Zara jeans, the estimated retail price is $50, but not on ThreadUp. I got these bad boys for $28.99. I got you some stuff. Do you wanna do a try on haul with me? Yeah! <laughs> come here, come look, come look. This, my dear, is an Abercrombie dress. <laughs> you wanna change with me? Yeah. Okay, we'll do a snap, okay? You wanna do a transition? Yeah. My kids love transitions. It's like magic. It is like magic. But it's not. Yes, it's just good editing. Yeah. <laughs> you just do, and then you actually like go out and like change. Yeah. And then you do like F behind the scenes. And like, and then you're like in it. That's true. Let's snap and do it. Three, two, one. Ah, do you like it? Yeah. I love mine. I went for a more sum summery vibe. These are American Eagle shorts, and then a wild fable top. And what are you wearing, ma'am? I'm wearing a very pretty dress. What's the brand? Abercrombie. Oh my gosh. So this dress, her dress. Abercrombie kids can be so pricey. The estimated retail Ooh. of that dress is $36. Got it for 10 bucks. What? That's what we call a steal, ma'am. Oh. Did you buy? Yes. Did you buy the next one? All right, let's do the next one. Okay, last one, last one. Because we're having so much fun. Let's do it right here. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. These shorts, I got these for $9.99. What about you? What are you wearing, miss? Is I'm wearing these jeans. They're Zara jeans. They're pink. They have pockets. And then for the top, shirt is Gap Kids. It's so cute. <laughs> and then the pants are really cute too. They're like pink. I love it. You are literally a whole vibe. I'm gonna change back into one of these. I actually got the boys some stuff as well. Like, look at these. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're, gonna, they're gonna love these. Guys, I'm gonna transform into this. Ready, set, whoa. Do you like that? Yeah, I love it. It's gonna be super warm out today, so. I'm sticking with the shorts today. I'm also doing something a little bit different too. I've been favoriting items on ThreadUp that I like, like items that caught my eye. And if you click my link, you can actually see those items, go through those items, and as long as I don't buy them first, <laughs> You can shop some of my favorite things that I've been just like eyeballing on there recently. So definitely check that out. So again, 35% off your first order if you use my code JustFam plus free shipping. Definitely a steal. I'll have a link down in my description. All right, so my next task of the day, this wall that you can see. The walls in our room are so bare and blank. We have not gotten to our own room makeover. We do it for all the kids and then ours is like last priority. And until Addie is out of our room, it's probably not even gonna happen. But I just cannot stand looking at these blank walls any longer. So I decided to get some pictures to put up here, but I just realized I don't have them all yet. I think they're supposed to get delivered today. So I'll probably hang them later. Sneak peek of what I do have. I tried to keep the color scheme like blues and yellows. Are we shocked? I also have favorite. Babe, look. Yeah. <laughs> that looks so good. Look at, hey, this is a really special picture. Are you ready? You know who's in my belly? You, yeah. We're gonna put these pictures up in here. Do you like that, buddy? <laughs> yes. You have the best hug. You know that? <laughs> that play? No. No. No video too. games on weekdays. I'm sorry, son. Only for like 30 minutes. No, sure. Landon, you got mail. Here's the I mail, it never on. fails. <laughs> Look, this is to the parents of Landon. Open it, what does it say? Is it really? Yeah. Mom, do I open it? What's it say? Oh. Congratulations, sir. You are continuing to be a magic key pass holder. You know why? Nice. I just renewed it. Yay. And I am broke. <laughs> this is another year of unlocking magic. <gasps> we are Tickle Pink in Sleeping Beauty's castle as you renewed your magic key pass. You know what that means? What? We gotta go back. Right now? No, not right now. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. This is a magnet. It's a magnet, yeah, you can put it on whatever you want in your room. Can I put it on my seat? Is it magnetic? Let's go see. Okay. Lilia has been a wee bit salty lately because <laughs> God forbid it's been like a whole six months since she's been. She's like, I want to go back. Let's go with Landon and Addie. Does it stick? Nice. Oh, I love it. We started allowing her to roam the house only when supervised. Oh yeah, wherever it sticks. Okay, perfect. I just got the call from the vet. Mango is ready to be picked up. They didn't give me any information over the phone. The vet is like 
45 minutes away from here. Here's little dude, say hi buddy. I have mixed feelings about how the appointment went. It was considered um, an emergency visit and at the visit they did all kinds of testing on him. They did a fecal test like they did, um, I, I actually don't know. They just said that they did a bunch of testing on him. Didn't get to actually talk to the vet at all the whole day, not this morning, not now, which I thought was a little odd. It was just the vet assistant relaying the information from the vet and basically the vet said that she doesn't know what the lump is. So a little unnerving. Um, what they're gonna do is they prescribed him some antibiotics that I now have to figure out how to give a dragon. I've never given a dragon meds before. This is gonna be a journey for the both of us. She wants me to give him antibiotics and see if it changes. And then she set an appointment for three weeks from now. Clearly she must not think that it's like an immediate life-threatening thing. But if the antibiotics don't work and nothing happens from there, then she might like, I, I don't know, cause this was like coming through another person, but basically at that point we would discuss the options of like maybe trying to drain it, see if it was like a cyst that was filled with fluid. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed because obviously him being there all day, I was hoping we would have an answer, but there's only so much you can do for a little dragon. So they said he's otherwise very healthy. Um, he's a good weight. Beardies are very often, um, they, they can easily become overweight. People tend to overfeed them. He's healthy other than this little lump. So I've got his medicine, I've got his antibiotics. They said to feed it to him with a meal he hasn't eaten yet. So we're gonna give this a shot. Are you gonna make this easy? I don't even know like how to open his mouth. <laughs> what have I got myself into? All right, buddy, let's go inside. Yeah. Can you just get back? They give him medicine. I have to give him some medicine. You see it? Oh my God. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Oh, honey's out there? Yeah, but don't let her in yet because I'm feeding. All right, dude, this is going to be new to the both of us. Shake well before using. What do you do? You spit it into her mouth? His mouth? Yeah. That's all you do? Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, here we go. Make this easy for both of us, okay? I'm gonna wrap him. That way he doesn't feel the need to like back up. Sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. Does it like hurt or something? No, he's just stubborn. He's just a little stubborn. <gasps> yeah, he's not happy about it. Do it, do it, do it. I know, I'm sorry, buddy. Mom, that's so much. Oh, there we go. Can't swallow that. Good boy, <laughs> a little bit more. He's actually doing really good. He doesn't even really look mad. He just looks. He's opened it for you. <gasps> good boy. <laughs> All right, that went he, like, smoother yeah. than expected. Good job, dude. High five. Woo. <laughs> was totally, I was gonna high five. Totally. All right, little buddy. I definitely think he's happy to be back home. He went right up to his little basking spot and I guess we are playing another waiting game. If anybody has any clue, any, even like the slightest idea of what this could be, please reach out to me. It just feels discouraging because like the vet doesn't even know, but oh, stressful, stressful, stressful. All right, we just got back from soccer. Today is the super, super late day. I <laughs> mean, for soccer and dance, actually, Lily doesn't get home from dance until 8.30 and the boys don't get home from soccer until like 8.15 and it, is school night, love that for us. So we pretty much hustle all evening, make dinner, and then head off to bed, which this one is pooped. <laughs> okay, come potty outside. She's being stubborn because she knows that after she goes potty outside, it's bedtime. a white noise machine for her in here. I know, bougie, but it helped us get through the puppy stage. But homegirl got a hold of the cord and that is a goner, so I need to order another one, which means in the meantime, we're gonna use YouTube and she knows once this turns on. Good girl. Good night, I love you. I wanna be in the video. <laughs> Last but not least, it's our turn for bed. No. Yes. I'm staying going. Oh, no. no. You're not. Also, do not forget about ThreadUp. You can get 35% off your first order plus free shipping with my code JessFam. I'll link down in the description. But that is it for today's videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fam-tastic day. That was a mouthful. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.